Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone today it's the man child all right so today for review i'm gonna check out or go over the master universe stranger things two pack so yeah we get a uh skeletor and a demo gorgon that's um yeah now we're mixing mode two with stranger things i guess so this was a target exclusive um these are pre-orders online of course it sold out fast i got one they're start they're shipping now from target i they should start showing up in stores i believe for the most part and targets and Maybe summertime, I think. Late spring, you know, local stores. If you can find one, kind of like like Moss Man was, Target exclusive thing. Uh, I gotta say, it's interesting. Pretty cool. You know, that Demo Gorgon, um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> it mixes in with Motu. It's its own thing. Now it's just kind of using a combination of, yeah, Beast Man parts, armor. Um, I want to say the mutated Beast Man parts, too. Or maybe they use the parts from this to the mutated beast man from the Turtles of Grey Skull line. And you get another Skeletor. Um, now we have some different shades as far as the skin and armor. So that can be cool for customs, but I I didn't need another Skeletor to be honest, you know. I would have been cool to see something different with this guy, like too bad or something. I know that's not gonna market well, because Skeletor always has to market with yeah, Demo Gorgon or going back to the Turtles of Grey Skull line. With Shredder, and that's the you know, he's got to bring Skeletor in the picture with the bad guys or leading the bad guys, um, for crossovers. But yeah, I would have rather something else. It is what it is. Aside that, so uh, yeah, pretty cool as far as the packaging and art, what you you know, what you get on the front of this, and taking a little closer look at the front of the box. So yeah, of course, it whatever way you want to flip it around. Right now, we have Skeletor in the up position, and there's a bubble card there. We have the Masters Universe logo with the exploding rocks. Yeah, Skeletor Mattel, of course, made by Netflix. So that's sort of Skeletor side. And then, of course, just flip it around and go to the Stranger Things side. <laughs> you get the, uh, yeah, Demo Gorgon. Like I said, that's pretty cool, you know. Um, comes with what they're calling a Hellfire staff, which is an interesting accessory. And, uh, yeah, you got all the, you know, all the organic matter that was in the um, Stranger Things show when they went to the other side. And yeah, just Stranger Things on the bottom and Demo Gorgon. Uh, yeah, pretty cool art. It's neat the way they designed this. I kind of wish it would have come apart or something, you know, to display it like that um, instead of flipping it right side up. But it is what it is. It's neat. And spinning the box around, here's a quick look at the art on the back. So yeah, pretty cool, you know. Good skeleton here, obviously. You can see the Demo Gorgon in the background. I'm assuming they're um, in the upside down world. Well, I was trying to read the bio here. Yeah, so okay, so he rips a. Uh, he, uh, Skeletor basically rips through the fabric of the universe into a new darker world, the upside down world. But you kind of see it mix or Snake Mountain off to the right hand side, and then it's the upside down. So it's uh, once again a cool concept, I guess, for the art. And here's a closer look at the bio. You want to pause and read that, and uh, you had a cool upside down attorney. And then dropping down, here's a quick look at the cross cell. Just basically shows their accessories. So you put Havoc staff or Hellfire staff in hand, and of course they can twist in a powerful battle position. There's no other um, action features from what it shows. So I removed both figures out of the box. This is kind of what they look like with the bubble removed, right? They're just upside down like that one piece. And then you get this um, pretty cool looking backdrop or additional piece of art that's inside the box of, yeah, like the upside down mixed with attorney or something like that. Of course, mine's ripped up top, but, you know, they do give that to you. And here's a quick look at the two figures and all accessories out of package. Uh, yeah, just pretty much Skeletor, right? Get the Havoc staff, sword. And that Demogorgon with this um, Hellfire Club or staff to call it. Which, I gotta be honest, between this figure and this accessory, that's the most impressive part in the, you know, the package from what I see and want. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at Skeletor and get him out of the way. I'm not gonna go crazy with him because it's just, yeah, I've seen so many Skeletors. Um, yeah, he does have a unique color that's different than a lot of, most of the Skeletors we got now in the Origins line. And I'll bring a couple and compare them soon. Um... So that's neat. I do like that darker tone. Makes him look more sinister and creepy. Even the um, armor is like a metallic, deep, bluish purple color, which is pretty cool. Um, I like the head, too. It's already, you know, the open mouth head we've already seen with the first release Skeletor. But just something, again, with the painting and the skull, the different shades and the hood. It's, um, it is creepy and unique. It's not a bad thing, you know, as far as the articulation. All the same stuff. While we're down, spin all around, arms are all the same, right? And all, and all about all this stuff. 
He has the close, semi closed hand on the uh, right side. He can spin, go in and out of the hinge joint. Shield open hand on the left. All right, spin at the waist. The arms will come out if you want. Come apart at the waist. The armors are all the same. How it comes off, pop this strap in the back. Um, I'm not going to waste time on that because most of us are familiar with that. It has a little loin protector, skirt piece, and come off. All right, articulation, go out with a split. Kick forward, back, bend at the knee, spin at the knee. He has this typical Skeletor boost that can spin, come off, and the foot goes up, down, rock side to side. And, of course, he just comes with his typical Havoc staff. Uh, yeah, cast it in that dark, purplish, metallic color to match the armor. And he gets a full power sword now, um, cast in the same color to where the first release Skeletor came with the half a power sword. And then they had a re-release that came with a full power sword. And now, here's a quick comparison with three different Skeletors in the Origins line, just to kind of see the overall colors anyway. So... Yeah, we obviously we have our new Stranger Things Skeletor here, which, um, you know, looks identical to this one. But the, yeah, I guess the eyes and the, a mm, little bit, it just could be the sculpting. It's a little bit different, but it, for the most part, the same open mouth. Yeah, I do like the darker colors on it. It's pretty cool. Of course, this is the first release one. And as I mentioned, there was a second release where I think the colors were pretty much the same. And he had the full power sword, but this one had the half, which I have off to the side. And this was the um, Skeletor from the Screech 2 pack, where, again, he had a lot... His skin tone was completely different. He had a wash in the armor. Different head this time. There's a bunch... You know, there's a few different heads out with the Origin Skeletors. And then there's, called, of course, Snake Armor, Skeletor, Dragon Blaster. Um, yeah, their colors are, like, mixed between something like this Skeletor and that one. But, um, you know, if you want a darker shade Skeletor and something more sinister looking, th that's what this one is good for. And real quick, here's a little closer look with Skeletor and the armor off the body. I mean, yeah, once again, typical origin style buck and arms, nothing different. But just to get a better look at the colors as far as the body. Now, what I noticed too is not only does the overall body have a different shade of, you know, a color than the other Skeletors I brought in, but he also has a darker wash going that's mixed all around the body, like um, something going back to this hood, but. It, like not as bright obviously if you can see that so that's pretty cool that's two different tones you can see it all around the the back the arms the legs chest obviously that's unique i didn't notice that until i took the armor off so i kind of want to show that so moving forward finally taking a look at the demogorgon that came with this two-pack set um yeah it's a really cool design it uh i gotta say it goes with mo too well a uh, little little bit darker would be something that would go back to like the Dark Horse comics. It reminds me of, you know, those kind of um, characters and designs and that. Instead of what we're used to with the vintage-inspired toys. But it's a good mix. It'll definitely work out in the bottom of Snake Mountain well. Um, so yeah, he has that iconic flesh-like flower head, uh, right? That the Demogorgon is always known for on Stranger Things. He has rows of teeth sculpted all over the insides, you can see. I mean... Yeah, they're okay. They're not bad. Nothing, you know, what Origins is doing. Some are more flat than others, but you can just see them all in the outer parts of the, this flower. Yeah, head split open. They're all, they have a little touch up, you know, paint paint it white a little bit. Not crazy. Um, then we got the center of the mouth. Pretty cool. Now, this piece is soft. It doesn't articulate. I mean, it's, it doesn't have like articulation points or nothing. But you can bend it inwards. Like this. It would have been neat if he came with a second head that was fully closed and one open. But I, the one open is more iconic. All right, so taking a look around, you can see all the details on the uh, back part of the head. The whole overall body's painted like yeah, the uh, flesh-like skin color that that Demi Demogorgon figure had. Um, so as you move down, now you can see they used a... Yeah, it's just a Beastman body and buck uh, mixed with a little bit extensions, I want to say. Um, I think anyway, so let me, hold on, let me bring in, so there's Beastman here, right? Good comparison. Let me see. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, okay, Beastman arms from what it looks like, but he does have bigger hands and the legs. Yeah, so it's Beastman legs as well, but there's, um, they're longer here as well. So he has extensions, different feet. We'll get into all that in a second, jumping around here. You know, so that's kind of what it looks like to me. Again, going back to that, um, the mutated Mossman figure with Turtles of Grayskull line, it's basically just, they just copied it or vice versa. Anyway, so as far as the head articulation with this open head, he can look all the way left to right, go down about that far and back. Um, just so you can see it. Let me take the head off, right? Just, just a typical 
origin style peg is a better look once again at the neck and the furry chest and then here's a little closer look at that head off the body right so we were going over the uh the flexibility the paint details there's the back and the inside where the peg sits all right so with the head off at the moment moving down real quick because i'm going to remove this armor so we just get some uh new style beast man armor right both these shoulder guards and um the main armor right? not a new style but it's just a it's a repaint of what you know the beastman came with and that's pretty cool because in a little while when we do some parts mix and playing around i'll try this gold arm on a beastman i brought him it's something different um so you pretty much get that right so flipping around again we know he has a furry yeah beastman buck and with the head off to remove the armor just like beastman you're gonna spin it around and break the buck on the back and then the armor piece will pull over the neck with the head off and here's a closer look at that armor piece again it's just yeah typical beastman armor painted gold which is a pretty cool color i mean it's Main chain piece and uh, symbols painted blue, part of the sculpt. And now bringing in the Demo Gorgon once again, putting the head back on without that Beastman armor if you didn't want to use it, right? So overall look, so okay, a little better look at that chest and buck. The overall colors, again, going back to how the head was painted. Yeah, pretty cool color, you know, it's the front and the back. Um, so we already went over the head. I'm going to leave the armor off at the moment. Uh, so as far as the arm articulation, I'll just figure and go up, down, right? Go back and forth. Uh, I can bend all the way up at the elbow to the face, can spin at the elbow. Um, the other side, of course, is all the same, right? Man, it's that whole deal. The, yeah, so here's the uh, shoulder beast man armor pieces. And you can see they can just, you know, you can, um, they do snap apart, but it, you don't even have to do that. You can just work it right over the arm like this, right? So I'm going to remove the one off the right side. And then while I'm at it, we'll take the one off the left. And here's a quick look at those off the body. Again, just typical Beast Man shoulder armor pieces, but molded into gold. And yeah, if you want, pop pop the straps just like that. And once again, there's a look with that setup. Pretty much, yeah, we just stripped all the armor and them two pieces off. And we have a more somewhat traditional uh, Demogorgon going back to the show. I mean, yeah, okay, without the Beast Man uh, chest and uh, arms, the loincloth and belt. And, yeah, okay, it's, you know, trying to mix a motu, which is, I think it's fun. It works. So... With everything off, finish up the articulation. We already went over the arms. You can see their beast man arms, but I can see. Same length. Has the same type of bracers, but painted gold. All part of skull. Or brown, a metallic, kind of a copper maroon color, I want to say. Um, he does have larger hands with nails, as you can see. They're new. They can spin. They go in and out in hinge joint. The other side's all the same. They're in a, yeah, like a semi-gripping position. Pretty tight. But not to get a weapon in and yeah the, the fingers are hard this side seems more is it the same yeah it's the same type of uh grip but wow i can't believe how hard his fingers are this, the, this one's soft so it does come with that spins at the waist comes apart at the waist for customization uh typical motu you know words of style he, you know just loincloth and belt nothing different right and this is obviously painted blue and the belt's painted the same color match of bracers around the body um they're moving down so yeah we have the this beast man legs I already mentioned. Uh, these look a little bit extended from what I can see. Um, let me bring in beast man one more time. I just want to make sure of that. It looks deceiving. Maybe, uh eh, Maybe not. Seems like these pieces are a little longer. But it might just... Maybe something with the feet. Might not be. He is definitely taller. So, anyway. Um, as far as the articulation, go all the way out with a split. Kick forward. All right. Go back a little bit, bend up at the knee, spin it, spin at the knee. Okay, so we have the uh, ankle, the cuts in the ankles there, which is not a boot, it's part of the foot that can spin, obviously. The other side's all the same. And then he has his own, uh, yeah, new sculpted feet, just like the Mutated Moss Man did. So you just see the nails, S something similar to the Demo Gorgon in the show. And you have hinge joints, so you go up and down and rock side to side. And if you ever want to take these off and put boots on his figure, not that I would do that, I yeah, you can. So, taking a look at the Demo Gorgon's accessories or accessory he comes with, um, check this out. Pretty interesting. So, it's like a uh, dual sided mace slash dual sided pair of dice. If you can see that, you can see there it has flames, obviously, on the left and top and bottom. Now, this whole thing can articulate any way you want it. It makes sense. I guess you're spinning it, flames will go like that, but you can do whatever you want. Now, they can. Looks like they can come off. See that? So if you didn't want that and just want to use the mace, you can remove them both, one 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 or the other. Just like that. Pretty easy. They're yeah, casted in translucent orange color with little highlights in the end. Like a flame. That's pretty cool. 
Um, I'll leave that off for now. So I was trying to figure out like kind of a lot of um, stuff going on here with this. So I think that pretty much sort of calling this the uh, Hellfire Staff. And I, I'm going to say it's kind of paying tribute or homage going back to the... Um, it, so from episode one, season four, the title was The Hellfire. So maybe that's where they came up with the name, which fits the Demogorgon figure with this accessory. The dice part with all the numbers, <clears throat> I believe, is going back to um, the Dungeons & Dragons starter set, I want to say. Or the dice that was part of the Dungeons & Dragons set. So in the show, like in I think it was in season one... It was basically the uh, the kids, you know, so it was basically popular activity that Mike um, and Will would play, and Lucas. They So they played the 1983, I think it was the Expert Edition of the game, and that, and from what I remember, Mike's Basement, and then they used the game's elements and monsters to describe and explain the uh, otherwise unknown forces that plagued the town of Hawkins. And I remember in that scene, they used like a piece, and they called it the Demogorgon, stuff like that. So I think that's what this is paying homage to. Right, so multi-side dice. And it's funny, it goes all the way up to number 20, um, which was on a dice, but I think that could also represent Dimension 20, which I think the Upside Down World is, from, from what I remember in the show. That's my guess anyway, on all the, when I had to think about it, the whole idea of this. And going back to the Demogorgon once again, sometimes I call him Demogorgon, excuse me. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard people call him Demo or Demo. I think it's Demogorgon. From the show, but yeah, there's a look at that setup. So I put the gold beast man armor back on, like it came in a package, and that uh, Hellfire staff in hand. Just look at that setup, pretty cool. Um, you know, and you can, I guess you could make, well, yeah, I tried pushing a left arm to hold the staff like that. It's a little difficult. I think it's meant to go in one hand, or if you got two of these figures and you get two staffs, you could put two. One in each hand. I don't know. I think the overall setup is to have one staff. And you can spin it around. Or the flames around, like I said. However you want. Again, it's a yeah, pretty cool accessory. And just um, the ideas they tie in behind it. If, if what I'm saying is correct. Going back to that show and the Dungeons & Dragons game. The numbers and stuff like that for this figure. Okay, so once again, moving forward. Let's do some comparisons. Or at least mixing and matching apart. So, yeah, of course, a Demogorgon comes with Skeletor. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, kind of, it helps, I guess, market the Motu Bram with Stranger Things, the whole idea of it. Again, I didn't need another Skeletor. It is cool, though. I do like the colors and the hood and the armor, so I like it for that. It would have been neat to add, yeah, too bad or something weird like that, something different. But, all right, it, you know, they did what they did. Anyway, um, Skeletor always is, seems to mix pretty cool with different things sometimes, at least the head. So, I'm going to leave the armor off at the minute. I mean, we can try to put the Demogorgon head on Skeletor, even though the colors don't match for something different. So, let's take a look at that. So, here's a look at that setup. It's, uh, yeah, being at Skeletor, Attorney is merging with the um, outside, Upside Down world. Upside Down. Uh, hey, why not, you know? A little mutation going on there. And then, uh, even though it's a different color, it can work on Skeletor or something different. You know, the articulation is all the same. Looks pretty cool in the blue, the blue body, the armor, the whole deal. And now, once again, jumping back over to the Demogorgon body. Of course, put the Skeletor head on that. The Skeletor head goes good on anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And you can put it on a He-Man body, whatever. Just something creepy with the hood and the floating skull. It works on anything. And it looks pretty cool on this body. Of course, I left the Beastman armor on, so you want to take a look at that. Something different. Again, you know, the upside-down cross with Eternia. Anything's possible. And now I just removed the main Beastman armor. Of course, put Skeletor's armor on and the lower that uh, belt protector. Left the head on. I'm going to leave these um, Beastman armor pieces on. They're just different. Gold mix, you know, something, yeah, something different. And the staff in hand. Just look at that setup. Pretty cool. And then, of course, I had to put the Demogorgon head back on this body. And I took that Hellfire staff out of hand. Just put Skeletor's Ram staff. Left the armor on at Beastman. Yeah, shoulder armor pieces. And take a look at that setup. Also pretty cool. And, of course, bringing in Beastman once again. Want to try that gold armor on like I said it would. That looks really awesome on this orange Beastman. Just having, yeah, armor in a gold color. So, if you have this Beastman or you want to, you know, or the Turtles of Grey Skull, that Samurai Beastman. That's basically where this came from, which is the same figure. I remember reviewing that. And you get that Demogorgon. You want to put some gold armor on him. It, uh, yeah, gives him a whole unique look. All right. So, that's my overall review on the new Masters Universe. The Stranger Things crossover. That's Target exclusive. Um, pretty cool set. I like the box. You know, the more I look at it, and 
they're turned right side up, upside down. I'm like, okay, it's yeah, like the upside down. Pretty neat concept. Had a once again mixed Eternia with uh yeah, the upside down going back to Stranger Things. You know, it's um I did I said this already a couple times. I didn't need another Skeletor figure, but I understand why they marketed the Demogorgon with a Skeletor figure, you know, to try it for the crossover. I do like the new colors, it's a lot darker in the armor, so you do have that advantage. Even in the head, it's you know, mouth head we already got, but there's something with the coloring different. Get a full power sword. You didn't have one. And you know, you can mix and match some parts like I showed between the two, or really anything. You can make a whole custom video, but Skeletor's head works on yeah, anybody like I showed. Um, the Demogorgon is my favorite figure and part in this whole box. Uh, I think it would have been cool too, like I said, yeah, too bad or something different and mix with him new, but, or that, um, Vector character from Stranger Things would have been probably even better to mix with him. Now, I think there's another two pack coming out with He-Man this time. And I think the Vector character also using Origins parts uh, later on in the end of the year or summer or something like that. So that'd be interesting to see. But yeah, I definitely, he's my favorite piece. Um, even though it's just reason Beastman parts and stuff, you have new hands, the legs, the colors. You know, you get Beastman armor, which we already have, but that gold color to put on your Beastman is, uh, it looks, makes him, just brings him up a notch. That weapon too. I gotta say this Hellfire Club or staff is a neat idea. And all the little hints and stuff going back to the show, at least what I think. The flames on it's pretty, you know, good idea. I love that head on this figure. It moves around and just, um, yeah, everything about it. This is really cool. I think it's going to go good <laughs> next to my Snake Mountain or with Skeletor, wherever you want. I, I like it. It's different. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, take care.